Hi folks, <clears throat> it's the 13th I think of April, mon uh, Monday. <laughs> we are in the studio. I've just got to do a little bit of glazing here so I think we just need to add a touch more water to the, the glaze. And I'm gonna bring the glaze bucket a bit closer. You know, if you um, if you've got glaze in a bucket, if you get the, uh, the consistency of the glaze right, and if you have one of these kind of buckets, keep the lid on it and it'll stop the evaporation. It's a good idea to have a lid that fits fairly well. So the next time when you come, the glaze is more or less okay, you know, for you. Okay, I've already, these are, I've just got a few of these, I've just got to get them in the kiln. Um, pouring GP bowls. So I'm going to quickly glaze them. A pouring jug, courtesy of Dollar Tree. Okay, the old top of a makes a useful saucer. Also have uh, some water here and a sponge for cleaning off. Okay, so let's start with this one. So just pour in. Like that. Now, what you want to do is just take it. You want to be careful with these because the the glaze can pour out. So you've got to then revolve it around. You see, like this. And then you can pour it back into the jug like that. You see. If you do that, then the, the droplet, the droplet here on the end will, it'll run back inside rather than running over the edge. So virtually there, you see, we've glazed that and there really isn't any cleaning off to do. Now, as I get a little bit better at doing these after I've done a few, I get a little bit... It's good to have a nice, I think, to have a nice clean line there, you see, around the top. Apart from that, any little odd splashes, you can wipe them away. Let's do another. So, pour in a third or a half, like that. Take it to the edge, but don't let it, don't let it pour out. And then bring it round like this. All right. Pour it out. That last little drop. Let him run back down on the inside, you see. Have a quick look. How's he looking? And that's it. So. You 
You want to leave a little margin, you know, don't take it right up to the right up to the very, very top. Two reasons for that. Um, firstly, it looks it looks better if you don't take it right. Well, you, obviously, you don't want to overflow it over the edge when you when you do this. The other thing is, of course, these are fired in the kiln face to face. You know what I mean by that. They, they are, they're fired in the kiln in that position, you see. See that? It's the one that got away. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you don't realise, but a little drop of glaze goes where you don't expect it. These are very slightly, these, these guys here that I'm doing now are just a little bit smaller actually. Something possessed me to make them smaller, I don't know why, but they're not a pound as what they usually are. These are a pound of clay, you see, that we usually use. Just checking, eyeballing it, make sure we've got a fairly nice, even uh, line of glaze there at the top. Are we in the picture? I hope so. Yeah, you really do need to have a sponge because there's always a little bit of It's easiest and best to do it now while the glaze hasn't properly dried, you know. This is going to be the last one here. I've got some other things to glaze over there. But we'll just make this a quick clip just showing you this simple technique. Yep, he's pretty good. Okay, folks, so there it is. That's how to glaze the inside, the inside of a a GP bowl. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter what the size of the GP bowl is, whether it be bigger ones, medium-sized ones, smaller ones. This is how I do it. It works for me. Have a go yourself, maybe. Um, of course, these are only glazed on the inside. This is not an all-over glaze application, just on the inside. <clears throat> what happens now is that these are sprayed on the outside here with wood ash to enhance the out exterior 
naked clay, as it as I call it, because this is naked clay, isn't it? It's not clothed with a glaze like it is on the inside. It's naked. So I spray wood ash over that, you see. And, um, and that gives, for this kind of uh, bowl, it gives a practical aspect to it because the, as the rim is not glazed, you see, it's not slippery to the touch. It has a slight, uh, uh, your hands easily grip it, you see, because it's not glazed all over. That gives, that's a, that's a practical consideration, you know, in, in the kitchen or at the table that you don't have where that is completely glazed all over. It, it's, it, it's easier to pick up, easier to grip, etc. Okay, folks, well, thanks for joining us. Please visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. And uh, there are a load of videos there, as you know. And... Um, yeah, we have workshops there, tools, etc. Hey, above all, keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.